Well, good morning, and welcome to this week's virtual worship service of the Granville Chapel. It is April 19th, 2020, and we find ourselves once again hindered from being able to gather together physically. But I'm encouraged to know that you are gathering together by yourself, maybe with your family, and we are coming together as a church in this time to lift up our hearts and our voices to our risen King, Jesus. Well, if you go to thegranvillechapel.com slash worship, you're going to find a copy of this week's bulletin. It's important for you to at least take a look at this. It has for you the lyrics for the songs that we're going to be singing, as well as some prompts for leading that worship service in your home. And of course, on the back are some announcements and important contact information. I want to talk to you about just a few of these announcements. Uh, First of all, I continue to do daily community Bible readings on Facebook Live at 8 a.m. If you're unable to join us at 8, those videos are saved and archived for you to watch later. Uh, I've had lots of special guests now, and we're actually planning a staff week this week where all of our staff are going to be reading. It's a wonderful time for us to connect as a church body together around God's Word. So if you haven't started doing that yet, I I hope that you will. I hope that you'll join us and, and join us as we read God's Word together and as we grow growing grace and knowledge of Jesus together through it. Well, we continue to have our Wednesday night online prayer meeting. That's at 7 p.m. Again, it's streamed on Facebook Live as well as we take that stream and push it over to our website. You can see that at thegranvillechapel.com slash live. So I do pray that you will join Austin and I as we once again spend some time together with you in the word and in song and in prayer. It's been an encouraging time. And so we will continue that for as long as we are unable to gather together. Well, there's two events happening today for our students. We have a virtual meeting for Chapel 456 and a virtual meeting for Supply. Both are taking place at 4 o'clock. The Chapel 456 students, those are our 4th through 6th graders, they should have received, the parents should have received an email from me with an invitation to join us on Microsoft Teams. Uh, Austin uh, has sent out a link for the high school students, or excuse me, middle and high school students, 6th through 12th grade, to join him, I believe, on Zoom. And so this is a great way for our students to not lose touch with each other, but to come together and uh, spend some time catching up, talking about the Lord and his work in their lives, and I'm sure having some fun together as well. Well, today is the last day for you to sign up for our contactless porch pickup food drive. That's a mouthful. Um, What we've asked you to do is to go to the link that you've seen in our newsletters. It's there in the bulletin to sign up for Monday or Tuesday, an opportunity for you to leave on your porch in bags some non-perishable food items. Some members of the staff are going to come around on Monday and Tuesday, depending on the day you signed up, and we're going to pick those bags up put them all together, and then I will deliver them to the Food Pantry Network of Licking County on Wednesday. So today's the last day for you to sign up for that. I really hope that you will take this opportunity to share the love of Christ with those in our community. Well, we continue to be thankful for God's provision for our church in this time, and we continue to be thankful for that provision through you. Thank you for giving to God his tithes and your offerings. You can do that at any time at thegranvillechapel.com slash giving. Uh, If you prefer to send a check-in, you can mail that to the church, or you can mail it directly to our treasurer, Ken Kemper, and his address and information is included there in the bulletin. Well, what a joy it is to come together to worship the Lord. May he be honored and glorified in all that we say and do. 